you to our distinguished academic panel, and uh, thank you for coming along today. Thank you. One of the most puzzling problems facing the scientific community today, the... No. No. <laughs> right. Quickly fire away, and then we can crack on. The most important question to him would have been, will people understand my answers? Um, he says in the book, people want answers to the big questions. And it was really important to him that he answered all these questions in a way that was accessible, that was engaging, that was entertaining, and that people could relate to. He was very keen on creating relevance for people with abstract concepts. In 1965, it was proved that black holes result from the death of supermassive stars, which after exhausting all their fuel, collapse under the enormity of their own gravity, leaving a black hole as their final state. And I think uh, reading, the, reading through the book again, it's almost like his, his voice has been leaping off the page as I've been you know, reading through the chapters, and it's been very nice to, to sort of connect with him again in that way. Um, my father's been asked questions, regularly asked questions, on a number from an enormous range of different areas, all touched by his work. So his, his scientific legacy is enormously broad, epically broad, I would say. This question, who's going to um, ask it? We could be mining rare metals on the moon, establishing a human outpost on Mars and finding cures and treatments for conditions which currently offer no hope. So remember to look up at the stars and not down at your feet. Try to make sense of what you see, and wonder about what makes the universe exist. Be curious. And however difficult life may seem, there is always something you can do, and succeed at. It matters that you don't just give up. Unleash your imagination. Shape the future. <laughs>